I was looking into this software called EbSynth. What EbSynth is designed to do is take one style and apply it to existing video frames. And then you can recompile them back into video. So it's meant to do things like this. But I wanted to see what it would do with some other different kinds of input. So in my first attempt with EbSynth, I noticed that because my screen had been green screened out, um, EbSynth did not know what to do, so it was stretching the background on the uh, keyframe. So I'm putting myself into Compeki Plaza and uh, trying it again from there. This is separate audio from the video that you're seeing. I'm going back over the different iterations that I went through with EbSynth. So we're going to see different ones and what issues I ran into. Uh, but the primary issue is that it is not meant for you to have a single keyframe. It's meant for you to have multiple keyframes every few seconds or it's something where you want to make your art style where smearing is not a big deal to the end product and what i've been trying to do here smearing matters a lot especially in the mouth area um it tracks the eyes really well but the mouth with the opening and closing, I've got a lot of smearing, so I would need multiple keyframes in order to uh, make that look good. Having multiple keyframes with something that you created out of Stable Diffusion is that even when you are using the same seed and a similar image to base it off of, the output from Stable Diffusion is going to be very different sometimes. 